Welcome back, everyone. I'm a little excited to get into today's TNT topic uh, with you, T. Everyone's been talking about it. Quiet quitting, you're probably hearing about it everywhere. In essence, it's just doing your job uh, and what you're actually being paid for, not going above and beyond, but not doing anything wrong either. You're not really quitting. Of course, the word quitting does have negative connotations, so some people are rebranding it as acting your wage. You need to act your wage. Now, apparently, there has been a bit of an uproar over this among some managers. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. What do you think of this whole idea of quiet quitting? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into it. No, I love it. I, I think uh, what it is is obviously the managers and employers <laughs> are getting mad because the times have changed. Right. And with people quite quitting or acting their wage, the power shift is changing. Right. Right? right. People aren't caring. Before, we worked out of fear. Yeah. We're going to lose our jobs. We're going to do that. I still work out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> I know they got bills, but what happened, the difference between now and then is the pandemic. Yes. That's the difference. Yeah. People faced the worst. They were like, they lost their jobs. They, got, they had to figure it out and scramble. They were scared, and they figured out alternatives. Yes. And so now they've changed their priorities. They've learned how to make other, other way, ways of money. Yeah. And before, they thought, this is what I'm doing, and I don't have any other options. Now people have options. Yeah. So the power shift is different. The employers are like, we can't control this, buddy, this person with fear. Yeah. They're going to do exactly what they're paid to do. And right. they're not going to overwork. And a lot of companies are used to people overworking out of fear. So yes. I'm all about it. I like the power shift. Yeah. I like it. Work and do exactly what you need to do. Yes. I think the pandemic has, um, it's shifted a lot for yes. a lot of us. I'm actually surprised at how much it shifted even inside me. Like as a daughter of me immigrants, too. it was mm -hmm. very work, 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 work. And then you put your head down and you work some more. And I've always sort of prided myself on that. Um, and now I'm sort of thinking, wow, this, like the folks that are shifting the mentality and the younger people that are coming up that I used to call lazy, I'm now calling smart. They're smart. Because yeah. <laughs> they're kind of coming up with these boundaries and parameters that are allowing them to live the life they want to live. And at the end of the day, as we've said before, it's not a dress rehearsal. It's the only life we get. Yes. You do not want to spend your entire life working yourself to the bone for people who are literally just making a ton of money off of your back. So the, the, the thing about quiet quitting um, that I disagree with is just the fact that this whole idea of it, of it being called quitting. You're not quitting. No. You've been doing more than you ever had to do. And you don't see the, you don't reap the benefits of it. You're not getting paid triple yep. what you are supposed to be doing for doing triple the job. So I think that I like the rebrand as in acting your wage. Um, I think also calling it quiet quitting in some ways villainizes employees for just doing it's not the bare minimum it's literally your job description. Mm -hmm. That is why you were hired to do this job. So We've sort of gone through this generations of thinking that if you work harder and if you do more, mm -hmm. you are a better citizen of society. And yeah. I think that's the thing that's kind of flipped for us. And so I am all behind people acting their wage. Me too. What interests me is, though, where are we going with this? Like, what's going to happen? Because during the pandemic, I was like, how are people not going to work? Do you not have bills to pay? But they didn't go back to their jobs. Mm -hmm. They found other they things. They found other what things. What are these other things? I think what the, they, I think the direction it's going to go in and people are going to be going more self-employed. Yeah, businesses. They're just figuring businesses. They're yeah. figuring out ways to work from home. Yeah. And I also think it's dangerous to label it as lazy as well, Tracy. Because you also don't know someone's priorities. Yeah. You also don't know if they have a side hustle and that's their priority. Yes. Right? So someone might say, they're so lazy because they're never available for me to call them at any point of the day. Well, I, I've shut my phone off and maybe I'm going to focus on what this is my priority. You don't know what's going on in people's lives. So I yeah. think that's dangerous. But I think the good news is yeah. for all those people who really like to work really hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the Johnny on the spots, those people yeah. always ready to go. This is their time to shine. <laughs> That's right. right. If half of your office is being lazy or lazy or just, yeah, just doing what they're doing supposed, what to, be what they're doing. supposed to be doing, yeah. this is your chance to shine. That's right. Go above and beyond. Yes. And listen, it, it depends on how much you care. Yeah. I can be both. Yes. I can be that Johnny on the spot who's going to work real hard and do everything and go way above and beyond. Yeah. Or I can be like, this isn't my priority. Yeah. And I'm going to do exactly what I need to do and what I'm paid for. But I think if you're a hard worker, this is your moment. This is your moment. This is your I moment. I think also it is going to be interesting. I would love to see 
employers be in a situation where they're not punishing the folks that are the Johnny on the spots? Because all you get for working harder now is more hard work. Exactly. So we need to get into a situation where if you are doing the extra work, you are reaping more rewards. Mm -hmm. If you are coming in and doing what your job description actually says you should be doing, you're getting paid for your job description as you were hired. But this whole idea of let me throw in all of this extra work for no extra pay, it needs to go. So I'm very interested to see what companies are going to do mm -hmm. um, and how this is going to move forward. Because now folks are saying we may or may not be heading into a recession. If we head into a recession, <laughs> exactly. I shouldn't have even said the R word. <laughs> but if that's where we're going, the power is now going to go back to the companies. And is it? I don't know. I don't know. That's the I'm, prediction, I, I, but like I, I folks are like, so. do you want to eat or do you not want to eat? Like People will figure out ways. And before this, we all would have thought that this would we wouldn't be sitting here. True. People will figure out ways to make money. Their priorities yeah. have changed. And I'm not sure if everybody's going to run back to employers. Right. Not sure. They're going to they're going to There's other ways way that the, the society is cha is changing. You can work from home. There's so much you can do from home. Yeah. There's so much you can do for yourself. You don't have to work for an employer. Okay. Well, this PSA, PSA we need to wrap this up before both of us are in the breadline, right? Why right? We're in the breadline? We're like, like well, they said they didn't